<laughs> hey guys. We just went through. YouTube. We're fixing to leave and go we to marriage counseling YouTube because media training. <laughs> Welcome to today's video. If I wasn't locked into you already for 17 or 18 years, however long I've got, I've been in this sentence. Guys, welcome to our YouTube. Cody and Erica from Bar 7 Ranch. Clance was here, but he went back to the house to get something. But today is officially commercial steer weigh-in day for us. So we're fixing to head out and pin the steers. And then we've got lots of stuff that are going to be going on after we get them pinned throughout the day. And we're going to take you all along on the journey with us. And it's going to be a lot of fun. It's kind of give you an idea of what is involved in getting started in the commercial steer program in our county. It, it may be different in yours if you're going to be involved in that. Um, but it, I, I bet it's going to be pretty close and in, in similar in, in lots of ways. So come along with us and have a, have a fun day on commercial steer weigh-in day. Steer pinning time. Let's see how big a disaster this will be. Walk up the fence, fellers. There's no way it's going to work that easy. Well, except those two alpacas in there. They're like, oh, we're coming out of here. Let them alpacas out. They're like, I don't want no part okay, of this. I mean, Let's not one, good. not one time in a million years would I've ever thought that would have went that easily. But it did. It never, never goes it's that I easy. Was yeah. You finally learned how to, to do with all the things I've been trying to teach you for all these years. What? Like where to be and when to be there. All right, go ahead and put one of those down at the bottom. Why so, don't put actual clips on these? So what now? So... Now that we got the steers pinned, we're gonna leave them here in about, I'll come back, I'm gonna go to town and take care of some stuff and then I'll come back later this afternoon. We're gonna take these steers up to the lots. We're gonna implant them. We're gonna ear tag them. And then we're gonna take them to the sale barn this afternoon. That's where we do our, our initial weigh in. Take them to the sale barn, we'll weigh them in individually and that'll correlate to whatever ear tag we put in their ear. And then from there, that'll be it. We'll be bring them home and put them on feed. And then in January, we'll weigh them out and see how they performed. We're going to keep y'all up to date on everything that goes on throughout this. Except for we filled up the corn trailer this morning. And we forgot to take the GoPro with us. But we'll show y'all what it, what it looks like. It's not level full but we we put about a little over five thousand pounds of corn in that corn trailer and that's about all i know for right now all right well that's very uneventful i thought we was gonna have to hot rod around a little bit no hot rodding on the can am sorry yeah. bub maybe maybe turn Not some today maybe turn one over or something i have some good footage Cody. But we didn't get there so thankfully you boys are just too gentle y'all just came right on no problemos all right I do need to go to work. Those will be all right up there, maybe. Rule number one is always have a wall spray. Always have some wall spray, huh? So instead we use Ivamec. Exactly right. And if nothing else, we've made them mad and got them to fly away. Yeah, is that, is that the only one under there? I don't know. I don't see any more. There's some up there as long as they don't get mad at us. Yeah. I don't know if I can get them. Probably just about half. There you go. See that? I saw it. That was a good job. You did a great job. All right, guys. So we're up here at the shoot shed. Cody, Cody shoot, shoot shed. shed. And getting, we're going to. Getting supplies. Implant, ear tag, 
and worm slash fly spray. Not just ear tag. We're gonna put the unlock. The ID on, huh? That's right. Is that what it's called? Yep. So these can be scanned and tracked yep. back so, to the animal. All right, well, let's... Uh, I have a question. Can this thing sense if you take it out after you put it If you it cut in? it, it'll, it it ruins it, yeah. So like if you cut this See off... See where it says unlawful to yeah, it'll, it'll. I'm just asking. It won't know that you've been removed, but if, if it don't have the back on it, then it's not, they, they don't count it anymore for the show, so... All right, let's worm them first. All right, so what are we doing right now? So right now we're going to give them a, this is a topical wormer, so we're going to squirt it on their back. It's alcohol base. It'll absorb into their skin. It'll kill the flies for just about a week or two, and then it'll also uh, get some ex external parasites, the flies, some lice, but it'll also worm them. Uh, it doesn't get like liver flukes and stuff like that, but I'm not worried about these cattle having liver flukes. But we're just going to it right down the middle of their back from their shoulders to their rump. And that's it. That's all for them. All right, what's next? Well, Bring next one up is, in the chute? Yeah, but we need to change our Oh, you gotta change your ear tag gun. Ear tag her out. Go on now. Get out from under there. This guy will go in there. And we gotta put this other ow, other tip on there. If it's in here, yeah, there it is. I wouldn't stand right next to that wall's nest, maybe. That way, if one does want to get back over there, why are you not coming out of there? Have you ever done this before? Yeah, not very often. Where's it at? They were in the corner of this. Pick that black deal up right there, bud. What is this? It's the other end for this one. So some ear, there's a couple different sizes of ear tag backs. Well, so, styles, styles, yeah. So some of them, like this one, has a hole in it where you it'll go into a little stud that's in there, whereas these don't have it. So we got to have the one that's got the tip on it to go up in there, so that when you do uh, implant, it stays. It doesn't bend the end of the. <coughs> this won't bend over and tear off. So we're we're set now. 26 all right so we got that we're gonna get our implants out the reason we implant I know some people you know want an all-natural product and don't want anything done to it um, we've been implanting for years we eat this beef ourselves and we don't have a problem with it we uh, we enjoy what it does it, it allows these cattle to gain an extra half a pound a day half to a pound a day of gain, so it means that makes, makes them convert quicker, which means they get to their weight quicker, which means we can get them processed quicker. So, um, implants have been used for decades, and there's no findings that say it's, there's any harmful uh, side effects of it or anything like that. So, we're going to keep doing it. So, it don't make it taste any different. It makes it taste better because I think it makes the marble better. But we use a component ES with Tylen. The Tylen is a serves as an antibiotic just to keep anything from in, inflammation and stuff down. Man, they're coming back thick, ain't they? Get on out of here. They're going right back to their hole right over there. Yeah, but they're realizing it's. We should have knocked her down, I guess. But so there's more. Uh, when you get done it, when you eat a head of lettuce, there's more hormones in it than there is in these steers when we get them butchered so all right well we can if sit I get stung we can sit around here and worry about getting stung or we can get to work so. all right bring him on bring me one on bub So 
the so, plan is we're going to watch y'all do a couple of these, but not all, not all nine. Not all of them. So um, we're going to put the ear tag over here. Actually, we're going to put their ear tag over here. They don't have any holes because from other ear tags in their ears. So I like to ear tag everything on this side. So Clance is going to, you going to do the ear tagging? So one thing we do like to do is take and trim this hair out of their ears like this. That just makes it easy to, uh, whoops, to see that ear tag in there. And uh, keeps, it keeps hair out of getting in, in behind it and everything. So you don't have to do this. Not everybody does, but for, especially for these calves, we like to do it. And it just kind of trims them up, makes them look sharp. So, all right. So when you give an implant, I mean an implant also, but an ear tag, there's some ridges here on the back of this ear. One, two, three. You want to give it between the, the first and the second here and in the middle of the ear. You don't want to be up on the ridge. You want to be down in the valley and in between some veins in there. So right there is the best spot to give it. And when you, when you squeeze it, you got to mean it. So go on and do it. Did it go in all the way? Mm -hmm. Pull, just pull back and it'll come off but I don't think you got it in all the way oh uh, yeah I guess so yep all right good job and then so the implant has a it's like a big hollow needle when you squeeze it this Hold on. I can't, okay, I can see it now. The, it'll push these little pellets into their ear so same thing you want to do it you don't want to get in these big veins. You want to do it in the middle third of the ear down here. So, Dear, quit hitting my GoPro. So we've got it just like that. Obviously, we'll, this ear is like my sister and doesn't like shots. Yep. Implanted ear tag, and then we're gonna knock the hair off into their tail. We're going to dock their... What number is that one? 26. The reason we do this is just to make them all look a little more uniform. We come down their tail until we find the end of their tail. Come down a few more inches or so. Just wrap it and pull and you're done. And that's all cute. You got it set up back to the pins? Plants? Yes, sir. Shut that first pin, Bob. You instead of paying attention to my job, and that's what happens. I missed. I missed that. Bob said, "Now don't let that one out again." I had an old, old crap moment. I was paint, trying to watch Clancy's job instead of paying attention yep. to mine, and let one out. Yep. First time in 28 years. You know what that means. Me and Bub gets go. Mile, huh? Me and Bub gets go on the trip tonight, and you don't, cause you had the old crap, and we didn't. Right? What are those things on the on him? Warts. We, so tell us about that. They didn't have wart vaccines, so there's only a few strains of warts that you can even vaccinate against. So we're gonna get some wart vaccine. There's a, a couple of these calves. Warts is a virus. Um, and we'll see if we can get them. If, if, if these warts react to the vaccine, it'll knock them off of them, they'll be fine. If not, they'll just have a few of them. So uh, I hate to have them, but that's just the way it is sometimes. Will it affect their meat? 
We're not, we're not gonna eat his hide, so right. it won't affect that. So. Just making sure. Hang on. Everything's done, right? Did you get it? Yeah. Let go of the rope when you do that. You don't have this pulled down enough. Pull this rope right here. So they're done. Now we head to the cell barn. Now we go to the we'll cell barn. Weigh them in and then we'll bring them back and put them on feed. That's the rest it. is history, right? Now the rest will just, it'll be history sooner or later. Yep, but we are gonna keep y'all updated every step of the way. It'll be exciting, an exciting year. I'm gonna catch you little legs. Don't you worry. Really? You gonna speed walk? Come look out, he's not let them all come back over the top of you. I know how to jump on this fence over here. No, you stand your ground. I <laughs> stand my ground. There you go, right there. 631. Okay. Six thirty. Six thirty four. Six twenty-six. You're not on the scales, are you? All right. After weighing debrief, what did you think about weighing? Well, I was just fixing to compare what they weighed about three or four weeks ago when we picked them up to what they weigh now. So to see where they're at, if they gained any at the house, um, it sounds like a few of them did. So which I didn't really want them to gain much at the house. I really wanted them to just kind of grow their frames a little bit, so. Uh, but went, ran smoothly, got them in, got them out quick. Um, I think the cattle look good. I think, they, I think they all weighed up where I want them to be. I need to figure up the average, but I think we're gonna be somewhere around 715 to 720 on our average weight across all nine of them. So that's kind of right where we want to be as far as our initial weigh-in, if we can gain do a 140 day feeding period and gain four pounds a day is what? Huh? I don't know, I wasn't listening. 560 pounds or something like that? Yes. And they weigh 720, they'd weigh, you know, 1280, something like that. Um, that that'd be about, about where we want, 1300 pounds of weigh in. Probably a little more than that. I think some of them, I hope we'll get some closer to five pounds of gain out of them that get us an extra 70 pounds in there or uh, 100 pounds and get us up there to that 1400 that's where i'd really like to be but 13 to 1400 on final way in is where we want to be in so hopefully we'll get there all right take them on take them on home all right so we already unloaded four over in the steer pen 
four in the steer pen and we got five that we're going to put out here so we're going to try two different feeding methods we picked what we think are the four best for the competition and put in his steer pen these other five that we're going to feed out we're going to try something new so those are going to get hand fed every single day we're going to put we're never going to let them run out of out of feed just like these calves are going to be in a bulk feeder but we're going to hand feed them every morning and every evening these steers are going to have this bulk feeder is full of corn and every day clance is just going to dump the amount of beef trait they need on top of it each day and put a little hay out for them so we're going to see how these perform compared to those but um we are going to pin this off right are they going to be out in this not hole? necessarily we're, oh okay we, you're going to leave them out yeah because it's not going to grow anything during the growing period okay. so um in the beginning we were talking about that it, so. we thought about it but we're going to try it like this and see how it works if if they're not eating enough grain then we may take some panels and, and tighten them up where they have to stay on the feeder a little better, but we're, we're gonna play it by air and see. Come, Come on, on, fellas. Boys. Last one smelt it. He was like, "Whoa!" What number is the last one? Uh, I don't know what his number was. You didn't see it. Thank All right, guys. Grease. That wraps up today's video. Yep, that's the end of commercial steer weigh-in. So. We really won't do much with these cattle, either set other than just make sure they got plenty in front of them to eat for about 75 days, 70 to 75 days. At that mark, we'll take them back up to the lots, re-implant them, and then bring them back and put them back on feed for the rest of the feeding period, so. But we'll drop some videos in between then of plants feeding them and showing how they're growing some, so. Yeah, we'll have to go get more corn periodically and stuff like that, so. Yep. Thanks for joining us today. As always, like and subscribe. Ask us some questions if you got some questions. And as always, you keep ranching. Keep ranching. Say bye, Nala. Say bye. Come on by. Nala, tell them bye. Nala, tell them bye. Tell them bye. Say bye. Okay, Izzy came to say bye too. Adios, y'all. <laughs>